11, 2011, at 2.46 p.m. local time in Japan, an earthquake occurred in the ocean just off of its eastern shore. The earthquake occurred in the subduction zone where the Pacific plate subducts underneath the North American plate. This creates a lot of tension on the overriding plate as the friction causes it to be dragged down as well. When the tension is released, the crust jolts rapidly upwards causing earthquakes. In this case, the North American plate moved 30 feet upwards. The large quake was recorded at a 9.1 magnitude and caused a rumble large enough that it was picked up by satellites in the outermost reaches of Earth's atmosphere. It even shortened the length of a day by a microsecond. As a result of the crust movement, the Pacific plate moved 75 feet to the west, which is a lot when you consider that most tectonic plates only move centimeters per year. The large quake did a lot of damage to Japan, but was not nearly as damaging as the ensuing tsunami. The earthquake created a tsunami that caused 33 foot waves to crash into Japan's coastline. When the crust moves upwards, it also moves up the surrounding ocean water around it. The tsunami traveled at speeds upwards of 500 miles per hour away from the epicenter. It even reached Hawaii with 12-foot waves. Over 5 million tons of debris were washed out from Japan into the ocean. 1.5 million tons of debris are still floating in the ocean today. The tsunami cause huge waves, as here you can see the waves crashing over the coast into Japan's cities. The earthquake did not cause nearly as much damage as this tsunami. As you can see here, there's a boat on top of a building. Only 58% of Japanese residents sought high ground because the government failed to address how large the tsunami might actually be from the earthquake. The total confirmed deaths are at around 16,000 people with the estimated damage placed at over $200 billion. Over 120,000 buildings were completely destroyed and 726,000 buildings were partially destroyed. As a result of this deadly event, Japan installed new warning systems in areas where proper ones weren't in place, and the attitudes of the Japanese people will be more cautious when it comes to getting to high ground and preparing for tsunamis and earthquakes. The earthquake and tsunami also affected the other spheres of the Earth. Around 5,000 aftershocks struck Japan in the year following the earthquake, which affected the geosphere. The biosphere was affected not only with human lives lost, but 110,000 seabirds were killed in the tsunami as it hit a wildlife refuge in the Pacific Ocean. And the debris washed up in the ocean also affects marine life negatively. The tsunami caused a nuclear plant to fail, which led to the leak of toxic nuclear chemicals into the ocean, which affects the hydrosphere. The earthquake also released large amounts of ozone-destroying chemicals that were trapped in the subduction zone, which harmed the atmosphere. Here are my works cited.